I'm going to show you how you can add Google Analytics, Google AdWords, or any other tracking platform pixel onto your Kartra pages. Hi everyone, it's Kevin from Solopreneur. Really quick Kartra beginner tutorial here. I want to show you guys how you can add your Google Analytics, Google AdWords, or any other JavaScript tracking pixel code to your websites and your landing pages. And I also want to show you how you can apply it across multiple pages automatically. So rather than having to do it manually per page. So to start, we just go to my pages. Then you can choose any of your pages. I'm just going to pick one of my blog pages here for simplicity's sake. So once the page loads, you want to go to tracking codes and here you can add any of the tracking codes you need. So your Google Analytics would go here, your AdWords, if you need some that go in the body, you need to go in the footer, if you have Facebook, you know, you can put it here and then you would just hit apply and that would basically just add it to that individual page. Now, if you have a collection of pages, like if you see here, I have multiple blog posts. So if I don't want to actually apply this to every single one, then there is a way to do that. What you would do is you would go to actually on the site menu, you would go to sites, then you would go export to site. You would go to the one you want. So tracking codes, and then you would say apply to all pages in this site and you would hit apply and then you would hit proceed. And then that would go ahead and overwrite all of the pages contained within this site. And it'll automatically add all of those and automatically republish them. Now you want to make sure that within the pages menu that you've correctly associated all the right pages with the correct site before you do that. So for example, I have a bunch of pages that are just respective to my blog. So when you go to the edit menu, you want to make sure that when you see here it says category and it says site, you've added the correct site. And you can add new sites if you need, right? If you haven't made a site category yet, you can go to new site and you can create that as you can see here. But that is the one thing you want to do. So if you want to have different codes, different kinds of micro sites or different properties, make sure you create a separate site for that. And then you can apply that tracking code across all of them. One cool thing is that once you've actually done that once, even though it doesn't make much intuitive sense why it's doing it automatically, let's say you've created a new page under that same site category, then those tracking links will automatically be there and apply to that site. So even though you hit export and you would think that it's only exporting at that moment in time, it appears that it's actually dynamically now adding all of this information globally to all sites once you trigger that export. So that's a good thing because then whenever you create new pages under that site, you know your tracking codes are being applied. And so if we look at another page here, we can see where we created a page without associating it. We can see here that it doesn't have the tracking link. So that's kind of a cool way to get some sort of dynamic functionality with your sites. You know, something you'll see in other CMS platforms. So that's it guys. Really quick video. If you found this useful, please give me a like. Consider subscribing to the channel if you want more marketing automation, entrepreneurship, or Kartra videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.